going to live. It doesn't matter what the devil says. You know, this is how we are to live. God's supernatural power. And I want to share with you Philippians chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. This is, this is such a heart-to-heart letter, such a heart-to-heart letter that Paul had with the church at Philippi. And he says this in this part of the letter. He says, but I have all and abound. Isn't that just remarkable? I, I, can, I can sense the sentiment of Paul here. I have all and abound. I am full. Having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you. That is so precious. An odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. Why? Because Epaphroditus was given things to support Paul. And Paul was just so elated about the things. He wrote them back in a letter and he said, I I have all and I abound. You, You all have really, really, really been a blessing to me. I'm full. Uh, because I received of Epaphroditus uh, the things that you sent. It was an order of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable and well-pleasing to God. And then he said this. We all know verse 19 of Philippians 4. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Do you know that because they gave, they accessed the glory? When he said, my my God supply your need according to his riches and glory, glory doesn't mean heaven. A lot of times people will say all of his riches up in heaven, up in glory. Nowhere in the Bible does the word glory mean heaven. It doesn't mean heaven. It literally means the glory of God. God's glory revealed. God's glory made manifest. When we give, it literally manifests the glory of God in our lives. What happens when God's glory is manifested? That's right. We get a supply. That's where our supply comes from. When we give, he supplies. When you give to Shane Wall Ministries, You know, when you go to a garden and you plant a seed there, you go right back to that spot expecting to see the the shoot come out of the ground. You expect the stem. Then, of course, you expect if there are going to be branches and the leaves and the fruit, the vegetables, if it's an herb or if it's nuts, you expect to find the results, the plentiful results right where you plant it. That's natural. In the supernatural, you can give to Shane Wall Ministries and reap the fruit in your family, your children getting financial aid that is not a loan, but it is it is a grant that is given or a scholarship that is given. You get a raise on your job, your business takes off. Your ministry has more invitations than ever. All of this simply because I sowed here. When you sow in the supernatural, when you give to ministry, and do you know Philippi was the poorest church? The poorest church that Paul ministered to. The poorest one. And they were the ones that supplied Paul's ministry. So that is why Paul never said anything like verse 19 to any of the other churches ever. This, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus was only given to those who supported his ministry, his apostolic ministry. As I have partners who support our apostolic ministry 
of Shane Wall Ministries. It is such, such, such a blessing. And I want to ask you now, and so I ask, will you give to Shane Wall Ministries? Because God has called me to literally spread this understanding message of the supernatural all over the world. I've traveled to several countries, been over the United States of America, teaching the word of God. And that is what I'm called to do, to bring that understanding. That is what the apostle does. The apostle in the original language means special messenger. God has given me a special message of understanding, to bring understanding to his body. And that is what we do. Oh, we, we have a very precious family in Kenya. And I, I really thank God for them. Uh, they've adopted some children and it's not really an orphanage, but he's a pastor and his wife and they've adopted these kids. And so we support them every month. I love getting the pictures and seeing what is needed. You know, they just had a, a, a terrible outbreak of malaria in Kenya. It was all over the news, international news. People were just dying. And I think it had to be a different strain because they're used to the mosquito bites there because they, they have become uh, particularly immune. But I think it was a different strain because people were dying. And so he sent me an email and said, we need the mosquito nets to put over the beds of the children. So when they go to sleep, the mosquitoes won't come. And so we were able to send money immediately so that they could get the nets and the kids, he'd sit back picture of the kids holding the nets and everything and the packages. And you could see them installing the nets in the background. Such a blessing, such, such, such a blessing. So I want you to give to Shane Wall Ministry so we can continue. Listen, I haven't finished teaching. I'm going to be teaching you. Uh, we're going into this, the five steps of advanced supernatural warfare. You will not want to miss that. Trust me, you don't want to miss that. So we're going to go into that teaching as well. We're going to remain live. But at this time, I want you to prepare your hearts to give. Now, when we give, we are to always, excuse me, always ask the Lord how much to give. I'm not going to try to um, convince you or try to sneakily put like, maybe you could give this or maybe you could give that. No, I won't, don't want to plant a seed in your mind because I want it to be directly from the Holy Spirit, directly from the Holy Spirit. So I want you to give and you see it there on your screen right now, how to give. Again, ask the Lord how much you should give. And for this boot camp, I want you to send your prayer requests. You see the donate button right there. I just want you to click the donate button. And uh, do they have the screen? Click the donate button. And as you click the donate button, you will see that there is a place there for you to put in your prayer request. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Please send your prayer request as you are giving. You hit that donate button and maybe you're saying this is an, uh, and uh, oh yeah, the Holy Spirit said this. This is an offering. This offering is an investment into your life. It is. Don't ever give. I don't care if it's the Shane Wall Ministries or to anyone. Do not ever give to just say, I just want to give. No, it is always an investment. You're planting a seed. You are opening up a door for you. When you plant a seed here, again, there is where you will receive your miracle, your breakthrough, whatever God has for you. Have you ever been to the store and you'll see a packet of seeds? I guarantee on that packet, you don't see a picture of the seed. You see a picture of the fruit. It's telling you what you're going to get when you plant this. In the supernatural realm, God knows what you're going to get based on what you plant. 
if you plant a little, it's because you only want like a little herb garden, a little window garden. If you plant much, it's, it shows God how much you really want. And he will let you know what all he has for you. So I usually tell you a little bit about me, just a little something, not a big thing. The way that I usually, if I have cash, rarely do I keep cash on me. But when I did, I would put, I would fold it one time, the bills one time, and the larger bills, the 20s and stuff, would be on the outside, and the smaller bills would be in the inside of the fold. So offering comes up, I reach to the inside of the fold to get a five or a few ones, and the Holy Spirit says, no. No, I want you to give, and then he'll give me an amount. And so I'll go to the outside, and now I get, and he's like, more. And so I'm obedient. Remember, we talked about strict obedience. I need God's power through my finances. And nothing that I have, I own. I manage. Everything belongs to God. And when you have that mentality, God blesses us. So I, I do all of this teaching because it's not just about, oh, let me click donate button and give some money. No, I want you to understand how to receive how God gives. A lot of times, one time I said, and a lot of times people say this, I need money. The Holy Spirit corrected me. He said, you don't need money. Money needs you. And that's the way God looks at it. Money needs us. So what we do is we literally take God at his word. We do. And whatever we say that we need, God himself supplies Money needs us because if, 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 if right here on this desk, there was a million dollars right here on this desk, cash, what could that be? To donate it, to spend it, to invest it, or even waste it, which I hope you're not doing or won't do again. So this is what I want you to do. If you're giving a seed for today's boot camp, or maybe you're saying, I want to give an annual seed, or I would like to be an understanding champion. I'd love to be a partner of Shane Wall Ministries. Then please give. Again, there are different ways that you can give. If you have square cash, then you can send it to Dr. Shane Wall. That's dollar sign Dr. Shane Wall. You can send your offering that way. And yes, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. You can take the deductions off of your taxes. We will send you a statement at the end of the year so that you will be able to take that to your tax preparer. Or if you want to give by your debit or your credit card, you can do so. Again, click that donate button. Even if you want to give um, cash or check, cash, of course, would be square cash unless you're coming down to the ministry office and (laughs) you want to come up here and give us cash. But you can use square cash or a check. How do you give a check? We have the address right there. When you click that donate button, you'll see the address and you'll be able to give that way. You can write a check to Shane Wall Ministries And we definitely, definitely appreciate you for giving. We thank you so much for giving. Now, we're going to go to a commercial and then I'm going to come back because I have something very special for you before we go into the next session. And don't forget, we also have a question and answer session where you'll be able to send me your questions live and I'll answer them here at this boot camp. So we're going to go now to the commercial. Be right back. God bless you. I really believe you are enjoying the boot camp. As you know, God is already depositing things in you for ministry. And concerning ministry, this may not be for everyone, but I want to share a story with you. Very true story. My mom and dad in the kitchen one day, this was back in 1985, they said to me, if you go into full-time ministry, we will not force you to go to college. That sparked my smile, my emotions. I was literally excited. 
which means it literally stirred my feelings because I, I really wanted to be in full-time ministry. And I was excited, but ignorant. Ignorance just simply means you have a lack of knowledge. And I had a lack of knowledge. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have anybody to help me. People thoroughly enjoyed my ministry, which has grown exponentially since then. And so all I knew to do was just to get out sermons, write them down, preach, and just hope that somebody would invite me. I remember asking a friend of mine to create uh, just a pamphlet, full color pamphlet. I had a book. I had some people that say nice things about the book. I sent that pamphlet out to over a thousand churches. I didn't get one date to preach. I didn't know how to do full-time ministry. I just did not. And of course, since then, decades later, I've learned a lot. And through my experiences, through my trials and through my successes, I've learned how to run a full-time ministry in 2018. And I want to teach you. So I'm going to have a webinar where I'm going to teach some of the things that I have learned that will help you to literally launch, grow, and maintain a successful full-time ministry. And as I said earlier, it, it's not for everyone. Everybody really doesn't have that desire to be in full-time ministry. But if you do, this is for you. Or if you have a ministry this part-time and you want to develop it to a, a particular point, I can help you and I want to help you. It's going to be a free webinar and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. It's coming soon, coming soon. All right, let's go back into the boot camp. God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. Listen, <clears throat> you will definitely want to be a part of that. I am really looking forward to supplying that particular course to teach people because a lot of people want to know how to move forward in full-time ministry. For those of you who gave, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for giving. And oh, great. Praise the Lord. People are still giving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Angela. Thank you, Pedro. God bless you, Crystal. Thank you for giving to Shane Wall Ministries. Please, if you did not give, please give. Even if it's $5, even if it's $10, whatever the Lord speaks to you, just ask the Holy Spirit, how much should I give? Amen? <clears throat> Listen. I am really, really, really looking forward to sharing this with you. And I have something very special for you, just for you now. I want to talk to you about something that God has given to me. And it's a word. And a lot of times, whenever we want a word from God, it's basically because we want God to wow us. We love being excited, which simply means to stir the feelings. Please don't operate on excitement ever, 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 ever. Don't make any decisions based on excitement. That's why I <clears throat> am training myself to not use that word because the Holy Spirit told me don't use that word because excitement means to stir one's feelings. And whenever you stir that feeling, what happens when it dies down? then now you're not motivated and you won't do it. So we don't do it by excitement. We do it by the word of God, literally being obedient to God. So I have so many different revelations that God has given to me. And so we've recorded them in different, in, in different uh, ministry items for you. So I want to talk about the Understanding 3D Set. A lot of people have seen me on Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, and 
This was something that Sid asked me to put together. And so I did. It's three messages and it's only available, only available through Shane Wall Ministries. And I want